Hi, this is Samantha Battleson, and today I'm going to be taking you through pearl trees and showing you a few tips and tricks on how to use their platform. Um, when you create a pearl tree account, it's very easy. Just put in your username, email, password. If you're an educator, there is a process to get an educator account, but that does take time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log into mine now. When I get in, um, you can see I have been working on a collection here. Um, you can go in and add another collection, which is a way to sort the things that you add to your Pearl tree. You can import things from your computer. You can add a web page. This is what I've been doing the most of. You can do an image, so if you need to share pictures with people, this would be a good way because their sharing platform is very easy to use. Um, you could upload a file or add a note, just some text. Um, so I'm going to click into the collection that I have been working on. And I have sub collections inside of the collection. So you can do that also. So once you're inside of a collection, you can add a sub collection to it. So you could have two, three, four layers within here to organize however you would like to. Um, that is one thing that this system has on top of Pinterest. With Pinterest you have your categories but you cannot have subcategories within the categories so I do like that. Um, and then let's look at how to put an image on the collection. So if I try to change it from here I get the little plus sign and it's asking if I want to add something else. That's not what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to change this image right here and if I want to do that I have to go into the collection and once I'm in I can edit the collection which you can change the title, add tags, add a new section underneath. Um, if you click on customize that's how you can change the image. You can also change the background, um, the size of the tiles and all of that. On the image, you can search through the internet to find one. I believe this only pulls um, Creative Commons like open images. It's not going to pull anything that is um, copyright protected. So this is where I got the image for mine. I just typed in literature and it popped up some books that I used as my image for my literature circles. Um, if you are doing something specific, like I am with these, you also have the option to upload the image from your computer. So let's say I go into Code Talkers and I add this History Channel website, Battle of Okinawa. On this page, I can hit as many pluses as I want to. Once I click Add, it will add all of these. You cannot just click all those and think that they've gone in there because if I say re look up Iwo Jima, I have just lost all of my Okinawa stuff. You have to click on the plus signs and then you can add. So this is adding a web page. It's automatically going to add a web page for me because that's the last thing that I added. So when I click on add, let's say I made a mistake. I don't want this one on here. To get rid of it, when you click, when you click on the tile, you have some little options up here at the top. You click on the edit and you can delete it. Another thing I like is you can flip through these and get a preview and then once you click on it, say it's a video, it'll play the video. Or if it's a website like this one, this one is um, a book guide for one of the novels that we're studying, it'll open up a new tab for you so you can go in there and look through it. Um, so that is a basic on how to add things, how to organize them, and all of that on Pearl Trees. And then with their sharing options, I can share all of my stuff here. So this would be, let's say I had 
two or three different categories in here, I could share this page with people. Or, which is what I will need to do for this assignment, I can click on the category and this little three dots, that's for share. When I click on share, I can link, get a link to embed it on another website, which means it'll show up um, as an image instead of just like the text. On connections, if I was friends with people on Pearl Trees, if I had connected with them, I could send my Pearl Tree over to them. Permalink is probably my best option for this assignment because that'll give me the URL code that people can use to get into it. Um, you can email, you can create a QR code, which I love because say you were using Pearl Trees for a student assignment and you had resources that you needed your students to access. You can print out this QR code and they can all just scan it. They don't have to type in a complicated website address. Um, we're about to be in the library with multiple teachers classes um, doing a cross collaboration. And so I'll have students that aren't in my class. So instead of having to have them join a Google Classroom and then from there get into the Google Classroom and all of that, they can just scan this QR code and get all of the resources at once. So I will definitely be using this later. Um, on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, so this would be um, your Google sharing. We are a Google district. So if I click on Google Plus, this is my school um, address so I could share it on my Google Plus and I guess the kids could find me through Google also to access this Pearl tree leave that because I don't want to do that right now. And then also Tumblr, which that could be fun. It would be a fun assignment for the students to post on Tumblr. Um, that is all I have for today. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.